Hi, this is Armin with Open Source RF, and this is a review of the RF Duino Servo Shield. Here is a 3D rendered picture of the Servo Shield. And here is a top view of the board and the bottom view of the board. This board can drive up to four servos, and there's four outputs, as you can see, on the bottom right hand side of the board. And on the left side of the board, uh, you have your uh, 5 to 6 volt power input to drive the servos as they require a much higher current and also a higher voltage. Uh, so you can supply that separately so it does not drain on the batteries uh, or any voltage source used for the RF Duino, including powered from the USB. In addition to the two pin header, which you can use to supply power, uh, we also have a screw terminal uh, enabling you to uh, easily attach uh, any portable battery pack. Uh, similar to the one that we used in our uh, demo bodies. And now we'll do a section by section walkthrough of the schematic. Here you have the connections to the RF Duino. And this is the drive circuit for the four servos. Since the RF Duino runs on 3 or 3.3 volts, uh, you need to have a uh, level shifter to be able to drive a 5 volt signal. In addition, by the signals being buffered, no um, loading can occur on the RF Duino. And just in case you did not want to drive servos and you just wanted to use the straight outputs to drive external circuitry, uh, the circuit we provided over here with uh, the dual shot key um, supply circuit uh, going to um, the output buffer enables the output buffer to run at either 3.3 volts or 5 volts. Uh, if you apply 5 volts, uh, the voltage is going to go higher than the 3.3 volt drive, reverse biasing the diode right over here at the top and 5 volts will be supplied to uh, the servo. And D2 over here provides some reverse polarity protection uh, just in case the power lines are connected backwards to protect the rest of the circuit. And lastly we have our two power sources. Uh, one is an external um, terminal block and the other one is a two pin header. And this concludes the brief description of the circuit for the servo driver shield for the RF Duino. Thank you for watching.